Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time it's another live stream. Um, I'm kind of exhausted today, so this is probably not going to be a long one, but I wanted to talk about the Hascon reveals. So I decided, hey, why not do it in a live stream instead of just a normal video again? I am super tired, so I didn't want to do this uh, whole thing where I just film it and edit it and upload it and record it. I'd rather just have it to where, you know, I'm just talking and doing the live stream, so we got that. Anyways, uh, I want to welcome to the chat Shockwave151, Paradox XD, Mashed Potatoes, Esteban Esteban, and Master Builder 164 Gaming and Reviews. Hello, guys. What is up? So... Let's talk about Hascon. I, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the big thing that everyone wants to talk about. I'm still probably going to do a Transformers Insane Asylum at some point in time. Hello, Bumblebee Flamestar. Hello, Lenny Likes Everything. Um, so I, I'm going to most likely do a live stream with a, a bunch of other people, get their opinions on this. But I basically wanted to get my thoughts on what's going on uh, right away. In case you guys are curious and because, well, I feel like talking about some of the stuff. So, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and talk to uh, or respond to a few comments in the chat. Uh, yay, I got 50 subs for three months. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, you, your old channel was McStar. Okay. Huh. Uh, congrats, Brian, on hitting 7,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Because... So 7,000 is is the number, so there's that. Uh, hello, Demotronus339, uh, okay. Um, I just want to promote a few videos I've done recently. Transformers Misfortune Episode 4 has finally released, so you guys can check that out. As well, finally, another Canadian Reviewer episode. This time I reviewed... Decepticon Bisque. So if you guys want to check out that review, you go right ahead. So there's there's that. Uh, okay, I'm scared after a message uh, revealed on something. I revealed on something. Okay, I don't know. Hello, men's zappers. Your birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday. Why not Zoidberg? All right, let's go ahead and talk about this stuff. Uh, I'm going to open up TFW 2005. So right now, I'm not going to be able to read the messages going on uh, unless I try something quickly. Let me see if I can do this even. Or if it will just look bad. Can you sing it later with my friends, imaginary? Happy birthday. That's your birthday song. Anyways, let's go ahead and try this. Okay. So, we've got Hascon going on right now. They revealed a whole bunch of stuff, and we are going to talk about that sort of kind of stuff. Uh, Hascon 2017 did a Earth Wars booth. And they revealed the Dinobot Combiner. We're going to talk about that later on as well. They pretty much revealed Predaking. So if you guys want to check that out, go right ahead. Uh, Predaking is going to be this year's Titan class figure. Let's see. So I'm trying to decide, okay, where do we want to start? Um, let's talk about some of the prototypes. I want, I want to... Just quickly talk about this. So someone had mentioned that the figures throughout these, a few of them are the customs. No, a few of them were potential figures that could have been released that uh, never got released. So let's go ahead and go through them. We've got a battle damage Bumblebee based on the Fall of Cybertron game, I guess. Uh, Bumblebee never came out for the Fall of Cybertron line. So I guess that uh, that's what it was meant to be. Hey, T-Fan, page 101, who is the fairy princess the Bumblebee is talking about? 
I'm kind of talking about something else. <laughs> Not to be a dick, but there's something else being talked about, okay? So, hey, T-Fan page 101, keep up the great work. Thank you. So, a bell damaged Bumblebee. I, I think that's pretty cool. So, this was intended to be released. And then we also have a first edition Bumblebee with battle scars that uh, replicate one of the first episodes in season one. Uh, you're going to Hascon tomorrow? Okay, cool. Uh, so it's got all the markings. Pick up an RC for yourself because that looks cool. Anyways, uh, so yeah, it's got the battle marks and whatnot, all the scratches. It looks pretty cool even on the face. Definitely reminds me of the, uh, the episode. And then it's got the scraplets at the bottom here, so that's pretty cool. And then we got, I think this was Space Case, and I think it did get revealed or did get out there or something. I don't know. I I, I remember this exact paint scheme for this figure. It's the uh, it's the Teradive mold, and I remember this coming out for a line. Uh, so maybe that's not a prototype. Maybe that is. And it seems like we were going to have a sky warp in the Dark of the Moon toy line. We just never really got it by the end of it. Which kind of sucks because sky warp is pretty cool. I would have bought that figure. But yeah. And then this is probably the coolest one. It is Blaster. Which by the way, I didn't realize that these things looks like they pop out or something. I don't know. But yeah, we were going to get a Blaster figure at some point. And this... Oh my god, looks so cool. I want this thing. Look at it. Teddy Sprinkles. Uh, oh, god. oh, why wasn't this out? He got the little scraplets in different colors. One's got purple and one's got blue. Don't know why. I find that funny that Top Spin's the only one in colors. Everything else is uh, prototype. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the prototypes right now. Uh, yes, Sky Josh. That's 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 what I'm referring to. Like I know I know there's a Dark of the Moon space case, but I feel like there was also another one maybe that that was more based on, or maybe it was space case. I I don't know. Why do the cool Transformers toys always get canceled? Lad foot. So, anyways, uh, let's move on. Um, actually, let's let's just quickly talk about some of the other figures that are in Power of the Prime. So we got we got Hot Rod and Rodimus. So it's got the little Hot Rod guy inside it, which I think they mentioned that it's Deluxe class. I think it's somewhere between Deluxe and Voyager, but I could be wrong about that. But most of the the Rodimus that comes with it is actually the trailer. And then you get the actual figure itself inside. Um, depth charge. No? Maybe. I don't know. But anyways. So the Hot Rod Rodimus figure looks pretty cool. I, I do like that. The Starscream looks amazing. Yeah, he's kind of buff. But considering their gimmick that they have now. Uh, or the old gimmick that they brought back. You know, it's fine. Um, I actually like the look of Starscream more and more as I see it, so, yeah. Okay, so it was Depth Charge, okay. But Hot Rod looks very cool. I really do like that. I think it looks nice. Starscream looks amazing. I, I'm only going to respond to comments. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to respond to comments that say my name underlined. And please... If you're going to have my name underlined to get my attention, please make it involve what's going on and what I'm talking about here. Hey, T Fan Page 101, can you react to where? Nope, not gonna. Anyways, uh, let's see. So we got this little guy. Pretty cool. I can't remember his name. Uh, I know Blackwing, and this is Dreadwing. Yes, Dreadwing. Okay, I, I remember it. So yeah, uh, that's pretty cool, and he'll be able to combine with. Blackwing, and it's pretty cool that they also form arms. At least I, I think they do, or arms and legs. I know they got the combiner port, but usually they have the, the hole to add a, a weapon to it uh, on the chest, because now they have the gimmick where they... The, 
uh, the armor gets placed on them. That's what the hand foot weapon is going to be. So, yeah. Um, and then Blackwing is uh, pretty cool as well. That is going to be a Wave 2 figure. So that's pretty cool. Uh, his head looks a little big and weird, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, his head's not really exactly placed on there right, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, which uh, of these figures do you consider to your waifu? I, no, I'm not going to answer that. Uh, but I do like the little guns on the side there, too. I, I think that's a pretty cool-looking well look. Um, and then we got the Skullgrin one as the little kind of headmaster power of the primes lineup. I think that's pretty cool, too. Uh, I, I already talked about these. I'm just doing a rundown to kind of catch up. Jazz looks pretty cool. I don't like the doors on the arms. I know that there was a point where Jazz doesn't have the door wings, but I just prefer the door wings because by comparison of this, it just looks like an annoying piece of kibble, and I'm not into that. So we got that figure. And then we got Beachcomber, a little Beachcomber. Now, if you guys want to know what's going on with Before It's Out, because some people have noticed, well, where are the Before It's Out videos? You haven't really done them uh, on this. Well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, I was kind of waiting for them to uh, produce the official images. Brian, please start the stream. The stream's already started. Don't know what you're talking about. Which character? Okay, whatever. I, I Honestly, the chat's distracting me. I, I'm going to ignore it for right now. Um, anyways, before it's out, Where's the videos for that? I thought you were going to do them on these. I wanted to wait till uh, official images, uh, high resolution images. And I might wait to see if they might do that, where they have a transparent background or at least a white background. But the official images that we get have this weird background to it. And uh, it, it's not that I can't work with that. It's just that, I don't know, maybe I can look I, I i don't know oh and then something happened that was weird hold on okay cool got it you can keep repeating the joke it doesn't make the joke funny okay uh someone pointed out that jazz does not have a hand foot weapon thing uh which is just the hand weapon uh, he does. It's right there being tucked away. You can see the thumb for it. Uh, yeah, Jazz looks decent to me, too. It's just I I think they probably could have done better, if I have to be honest. Oh, that's the Combiner Star screen. Oh, okay. I, I didn't clue in. I, I just thought that was the normal Star screen. That is the Combiner one. And uh, apparently you can add the combination of Enigma to these figures and uh, the, they'll be able to hold it and it comes with Predaking or something like that. I, I'm not really sure. But I think that is awesome that in his combined mode, he has the crown. Oh, I love that. That just made me love this figure. It, it just made me, I don't care if the figure is going to be shitty. I don't care about the proportions. That alone just made me love the thing. Be cool if you can sw uh, swap out uh, the combine head uh, for Starscream. That that would be nice. Yeah, there is a combine gimmick for them. Hot Rod's pretty cool. You can see his hands right there. That's funny. All right. So, yeah. Okay, so that was all the last wave. I'll do before it's out eventually. I'm going to wait to see if we get the transparent background images or at least the white background images of the figures it just makes things easier but if not i'll see what i can do and then we move on to the official images i'm gonna go through the official ones i'm not gonna go through uh, all the other ones right away uh let's go ahead and just jump right into it we got micronus in the lineup and pretty much these figures guarantee that 
what we saw for the reveals early on. We're still not sure what's going on with that movie lineup. It, it's still possible that that's canceled. But at least for the generations, everything is pretty much confirmed at this point. So that whole list of figures that we got, we are getting down the line. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Bumblebee uh, Flamestar, that is getting really annoying to hear you constantly say the same damn thing in the chat. Please, stop. Anyways... Grimlock is big boy. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, Micronus transforms into the weapon. You got the uh, little uh, pretender mode. They don't really have the official image right here for the uh, pretender mode. I'll, I'll go back to the, the other images for that. But he transforms into this gun system thing that actually looks pretty decent. Uh, I, I believe you can take that off, too. I'm not sure about that. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. So I'm trying to skip through to see uh, the Legends class figure. Okay, here we go. So we are going to get two Legends class figures, or sorry, there's two Legends class figures that have been revealed as of recently. I feel like they're going to reveal the rest of them pretty soon, or whatever you consider reveal, even though they've been leaked. Um, because we're, we're getting a kickback and then we're getting some other figure that I can't really remember, but I'm not going to bring up the photo, of course. Um, so kickback's going to be a re-release and then, oh, uh, wind charger is also coming out, uh, with a new mold. Um, and, and then we also have the, uh, Predacons that they never revealed any images for, but they have shown a little snippet of one of them and... We know that some of these Dinobots are Wave 2 figures, so it's safe to say that these are likely not going to be the last of the reveals. We're going to get a few more. Uh, we're going to get at least one... Uh, they're not Predacons, they're Terracons, right? Um, so we're going to get at least one Terracon. We're going to get uh, that Starscream repaint, uh, Alita 1, at least. Uh that's what I think. So, Alita 1, uh, one of the Terracons, at the very least, we're going to get Kickback, and we're going to get Wind Charger at some point in time. At least that's what I think. Uh, because uh, clearly, this isn't it for Wave 1 and Wave 2. Uh, I, I mean, now we've seen everything for Wave 1. Wave 2, we're still missing a few things. Uh, and, and that includes the Legends of Wave 2. So maybe they are going to hold back and wait a little bit before revealing what Wave 2 is. Maybe there is another event coming up. I believe there's another Comic-Con. I, I never keep track of those. Uh, the only one I ever keep track is that in February, we get a, a fair that's going to reveal a whole bunch of stuff. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, moving on from that, we got Slash, which is the first... Female Dinobots. So, yes, female Dinobots are canon, and they have uh, tabs on the boobies. Yay. Um, so, I think this is pretty awesome that they're doing a, a female uh, Dinobot. I don't know. It's just... I think the proportions are fine for her. You know, it's not too overly sexual or anything like that or considered for that. You know, it's it's decent. It's, it's It feels strong enough. And, and for it to be a Velociraptor, I, I think that's fine. And I understand why she's a Legends class figure. If you take a look at the previous Combiner Wars uh, big sets, usually the extra one is going to be the Legends one. So why not have it as Slash? So, if you're going to have the original Dinobots and you're going to add one, and it's going to be a Legends class figure, I understand. Um, she's she's not smaller because she's a girl. So, there's that. Um, with the Terracons, they've also added one more Legends class figure to the lineup. Um, but anyways, uh, the Velociraptor mode could have used a little bit more work, but I understand what's going on with it. I understand it's not that easy to make a, a legend-sized Velociraptor. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it's kind of difficult. 
And then when you go to the robot mode, it looks pretty cool. And I love the fact that they try to use transparent plastic on these figures. I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, Strafe a female? No, I, I don't know if Strafe is a female Dinobot, but whatever. Anyways, it's pretty cool. And it kind of makes you think, is the, the Dinobot Slash in the movies a female too? I, I don't think uh, I don't think it is, but I, I think this one being a female is pretty cool. Uh, hi, Julian. I just want to point out, if you're going to tag my name, please make it important or about what's going on, not just off topic or something like that. Uh, anyways, let's move on to the deluxe Dinobots. Thank you, Bumblebee, for tagging my name. And, uh, you know, after I just said, please keep it important. Dinobot Slug. Um, pretty cool. I wish this chest was a little more broad, but, you know, that's fine. Um, yeah, I know you're talking about the comics. Anyways, uh, I, I really do like the dino mode on this. I, I like the gun. Um, you know, it's sim as simple, it's basic. Um, I, I think, I don't know, it's just, there's something off about that robot mode to me. But I really like the dino mode. I, I think that's pretty awesome. I also like the, uh, the black or gunmetal or whatever color scheme on the back here. I think that's fitting. Uh, it, it is kind of weird to see the transparent plastic, but I like how it's molded over the gold so it gives a shine to it i i think that's pretty cool uh oh someone tagged my name i guess they want to be kicked no. um anyways dinobot sludge has the same gun i just noticed that he has pretty much the same gun so is it going to be the same thing as air raid with skydive where they share uh where they share similar traits but they're not exactly completely repainted or retooled or anything like that like they share the same legs and whatnot but they they have differences to them uh bumblebee uh please stop fucking tagging my name unless it's relevant or important all right thank you I have no issue with with blocking you from this chat. I really don't. I think it's the slightly scrawny arms that's off. Yeah, probably. The Dinobots don't have enough bulk in robot mode. Yeah, I kind of understand that. Um, I mean, they, they are combiners as well. I mean, spoiler alert, there's a whole combiner set going on for these. But uh, I, I think... Uh, yeah, they, they could use a little bit more bulk, but they, they do still look like what they're trying to represent, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I'm noticing that there is a lot on Sludge and Slug that is similar. Uh, the legs seem to be, yep, they're the exact same. Uh, the upper legs and the lower legs are the exact same. Uh, the chest seems to be different. The arms might be the same, but I can't really tell. The lower arms look like they're the same. Uh, and then the gun is definitely the same. So this is going to be the same thing that we've seen before. Hello, Dakota. How are you doing? Uh, same thing we've seen before with the aerial bot. So not bad. Uh, I'm not going to argue with it. And then we also have Swoop, which they got the name back fantastic and some people looked at this and they said oh i hope they they get it in blue and some people saw the other one and they say hopefully we get it in red which by the way titan master ports on the top here yay anyways um swoop is probably my favorite i i kind of like the blue version but i don't mind the red one uh love the transparent beak uh, on some swoop figures, that do that doesn't really work for me. But on this, for some reason, it just does. And I don't know. I just, I love this freaking thing. I think it looks awesome. I love the fact that he's got a sword to him, too. 
And then looking at Snarl, I mean, Snarl is bulky as hell, but I'm not sure how I feel about the tail on the back. I mean, I get it. That's what the original Generation 1 did. Um, but... I don't know. That could have been incorporate more to the uh, the Transformer. Emgo lied to us. He said, I will stop buying Combiner Wars, but Power of the Primes is sort of Combiner Wars. Well, that's not really lying, then, is it? Because these aren't really Combiner Wars, and they're different now. They're not all the same figures. Like, the, the one issue that people had for Combiner Wars is, oh, it's the same figure over again. So, you know, there's that. I wouldn't say he's lying. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, and he's still got that transparent plastic around it. So yeah, pretty cool. And then we've got the Evolution Optimus Prime, which, oh my god. Huh. Oh wait, yeah, we got Grimlock. Let's focus on that for a second. Grimlock looks... Pretty decent. I still have the Fall of Cybertron one. I, I think that's pretty cool. But, oh my god. <laughs> there are some things that I don't like. I don't like the hips uh, and how it's got a bit of whatever sticking off to the side. I understand what they're doing with that. Uh, I, I think the legs could have been better. I, I think some of this could have been better in the robot. But one of the things I love is the foot pieces that the Voyager class figures use. Uh, I, I love how it's incorporated as these big things that attach to his arm. So when he punches stuff, oh, it's going to hurt. Uh, love the little dino arms. Oh, that is adorable. I have the overkill figure which is a repaint of the classic Grimlock. I, I thought that was pretty cool, but I, I'm glad that we got a proper Grimlock. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then we go back to the Optimus Prime Evolution. So you get a Deluxe to Voyager class Orion Pax, which yeah, hollow legs, ooh. But uh, anyways, Orion Pax looks very cool. You can separate the guns, and I think the guns look decent when they're separate, but I mean, come on, they look way better when they're combined um brass knuckles that's what i was trying to think of but i love the orion packs i love how you can still transform it into the cab from the optimus prime figure uh love the head mold on the orion packs it really does look like him and it's got this certain look to him very smooth and rounded off which is completely different from the bulky and squared off look of optimus prime which looks amazing uh, the trailer itself, I'm not a fan of the top of it, and there is a lot going on with it, but it's cool. It, it, it really is cool. Uh, deluxe to leader, not deluxe to forge. Uh, whatever. Anyways, deluxe to the leader. Who cares? No! I am talking about Deluxe to Voyager. I, I'm talking about the Orion Pax. The size of the Orion Pax is Deluxe to Voyager. I'm not saying that Orion Pax goes into Optimus Prime and becomes a Voyager. I'm saying that the Orion Pax itself is about Deluxe to Voyager size. And I'm going to point that out later on. Anyways, so the Orion Pax has this rounded off look. And then the Optimus Prime has this squared off look. And if there's one thing I'm going to complain about the Optimus Prime, which I was kind of worried at looking at the trailer and now looking at this image, it kind of confirms what I thought, is that the shoulders are a little off. You can see that from this side, you can see how the shoulder just kind of lifts up like that. Um, and then on here, you can kind of see the shoulder itself and how it's off-centered from that joint. So, yeah, that kind of sucks for it. But other than that, I mean, I, I really like this Optimus Prime. It looks so much better when he's just standing there, too. Um, I cannot afford the Masterpiece one. This is pretty much what looks like the Masterpiece one to me. And I know it's not completely accurate at all, but I think it looks the closest to it because it's got that squared-off proportion that I really do like. Um, and another thing that I find funny is on the back of Optimus Prime, you can see a second 
generation one rifle it's the back end of this part i think that's just a mistake um and as far as people talking about the leader class star saber let me tell you this and why i think we are getting a star saber is because in the panel if you actually went to go to that and you listened in they mentioned that they were working with one of the people who were the original creators of star saber or victory leo or something like that it, it was related to star saber i'm i'm pretty sure of that but that tells me and they were talking about optimus prime when they were talking about this I, i'm pretty sure they were um i could be wrong about that but i'm pretty sure they were talking about optimus prime during that they must have brought him in so that they could work on these type of figures and then lead into uh, star saber down the line which really makes me want to get uh, overlord for some reason but yeah i think we are going to get a um a star saber at some point in time uh let's see okay let's go to the panel because we got a couple of images to go through i'm not going to go through everything um the storm shot picture looks amazing I, I love that as bland as storm shot the figure looks that uh that picture looks amazing to me uh let's see uh let's go down to here yep that is volcanicus or whatever his name okay it's on the top there volcanicus and he is the dinobot combiner we are getting a dinobot combiner 10 years 10 years i've been wanting them to do dinobots i just want them to do dinobots and i know someone's gonna say well they did grimlock no that's not dinobots plural dinobots is plural meaning not just grimlock but the other ones they had so much time to work on it and all they did was grimlock from the original lineup all they did was grimlock and then generations fall cybertron came out and they had like the whole dinobot team in the game and then all they released was grimlock and i know they got third party stuff but no i wanted an official one because i don't want to pay a hundred dollars for a fucking sludge and then this comes down and it's like oh by the way they're also combiners okay oh i cannot wait for this I'm probably going to combine them, like, not so often. I'm probably not going to leave him in his combined mode. But the fact that they fucking do this at all. Oh. Oh, my God. Uh, and, and they also swap these guys out. So it pretty much proves that they still have the swapping capability you could still make one into an arm and one into a leg and whatnot which i'm pretty sure no one doubt but you still have the opportunity to do that um i'm not sure if this is mistransformed or anything like that they did mention that they want to keep these figures sturdy so i don't think that this it it looks like it's going to fall apart i'm not sure if it will but it might not um and one of the things that I actually really didn't catch on, and I'm so glad they did. I really didn't catch on to this. Um, now I want to get Devastator. Um, is the hand gun shield weapon thing. So each deluxe contains two of them. And, of course, two of them would form the hands. And then Grimlock has his own weapons that form the feet. Well, now you've got four hands that don't do anything. Or two of them don't do anything. And then two of them, of course, you get to use as the hand foot or a hand foot gun. God, I'm so used to that. To the actual hands. So what are you going to do with the other two? Well, apparently that was already answered. There and there is the other two hand shield pieces. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Bumblebee, Flamestar, Megatron images. 
All right, tell me where the Megatron images are. Uh, they were none, you dunce. And my hands don't know what the feet are doing anyways. <laughs> uh, shut up, me. Shut up. No, it's fine. Um... Okay, you tell me Megatron images. Where'd you find them? Uh, the swoop toy shown in the Hascon uh, show floor has blue on him. Yes, as I mentioned, there is a blue version and there is a red one. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we can go through these images or we can go through the more elaborate images. Uh, I have no idea. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thanks for that, I guess. Okay. Anyways, okay. So we got more Power of the Primes images, and I have to go for this. Because you can see Orion Pax in the background, and then you can see Swoop, and then you can see Grimlock. Now, Orion Pax and Grimlock are standing the most straight compared to Swoop and, well, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyways, these two, while Grimlock does have a leg kind of tipping down on the side, they're pretty much standing pretty straight for the most part. And you can see that they are about the same size. And they're pretty much as far back as uh, the other one. Now, it, it's possible that Orion Pax is deluxe class. I, I can see Orion Pax is further back, which is going to give him that little extra height um, just from the, uh, the visual of this image. Um, it's just a visual allusion to it. Uh, but uh, it, it seems to me that Ryan Pax is going to be about the same height as Grimlock, which is the Voyager, of course. Uh, but yeah, uh, pretty cool. I, I really do like this lineup. You got Grimlock doing the, it's unusual to be loved by anyone. Da -da -da -da. Uh, look at the Dinobot Enigma of Combination next to Grim... Oh, I was wondering what that was. I was really wondering what that was, actually. So, yeah, that's the combination of Enigma. It just looks like the same kind of thing that was, uh... Yeah, you can message me whenever you have something important. Otherwise, you can just back off for a while, okay? Thank you. Anyways, Grimlock, uh, pretty cool. I like the combination of Enigma right there. Uh, the hand, foot, weapon thing. God, I'm so used to that. Uh, I love how the foot has a tilting mechanism inside that. That's pretty cool. And it's a ratchet, too. And that was actually going to be my concern is, does that mean that the foot's just going to flop around. If it was just a basic hinge, I would think, oh, God, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a mess, and it's not going to hold itself up. Uh, but no, it's an actual ratchet. It seems like it's a deep ratchet inside there. Uh, I only put him in timeout. I, I didn't actually block him. Um, but yeah, it, it seems like... It, it seems like it's going to be a nice tight ratchet in that. And I do like that. Uh, Ankle tilt. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, I <laughs> uh, really do like Grimlock's little arms. I, I think that's pretty adorable. Uh, so, yeah, you got that. And am I mistaken, or is that a little Autobot logo that's on the top there being used as maybe light piping? I don't think that's light piping, but, yeah, you got that. Um, it has got a little bit of gold in his mouth, but I think that's just seeping through. Uh, look at Grimlock. Look how chunky he is. It's just a big chunk of gold on there. And I think that's covered in that gold plastic, too. Um, just looks amazing and very shiny. And Oh, God. 
Ah, it's not unusual. Yeah, I don't think that's transparent plastic. And then you have Slug with his little sword weapon. Uh, someone was saying, oh, where's Grimlock's sword? Well, just use Slug, I guess. <laughs> he doesn't need swords. He uses punching. I'm pretty sure there's going to be like an upgrade kit anyways. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I didn't talk about Predaking. I, I should have talked about that. Um, while it's on my mind, let's go ahead and go back to Predaking because I feel like I'm going to forget it if I don't. So, let's see. I'm still coming. Aren't we all? Um, I like how they try to sneak in like, oh, we got Predaking, wink, wink. And then Earth Wars pretty much just shows it off. Uh, but anyways, that is that just looks awesome. I cannot wait for that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Predaking used six Transformers, and apparently this uses five. So there's there's that. Um, but oh my god, it looks cool. Uh, hopefully you can just add the gun to his hand. It, it's not that I'm complaining about it being attached to the side of the arm. It's just I. I I think just for options, I would like to have it also be able to be placed in the hand. Um, but I like the shoulder cannons right there. Always cool. Oh, oh okay. It's always five. Okay, cool. Uh, Predaking was only five in G1. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, but yeah, Predaking. Oh, my God. Looks amazing. And this is going to be the Titan... Titan class figure looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Nope, wrong image. <laughs> or wrong stuff that I was trying to look at. There we are. Uh, let's see. Where were we at? We were at... Were we at Snarl or... Okay, so there's Slug. Pretty cool. And apparently you can turn the little horn, so that's nice. Or at least it seems like it. Uh, it doesn't look like the hand-foot weapon thingy. I, I'm just going to call it that. I don't give a shit anymore. Uh, it, it doesn't look like... That's going to be much of a weapon. Okay, guys. Five Dinobot or five five Predacons, okay? I get it. It was five. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, now people are telling me all this information. And I'm like, I just wanted to know if there was five. Uh, the combined mode hand for Volcanicus has two thumbs. Yeah, I, I noticed. I'm not really concerned about it. it it's mostly... I understand what they're doing. I understand why they had to. So it's it's not to be concerned. You can add the the prime master onto the hand weapons, and you can add them to the foot weapons too. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, you can add this to the chest of the transformer. So I think that's pretty neat. So at least there is some usability in that. But you could also just throw it off to the side. You don't really need to have it with the Dinobots. Uh, my iPad. Is having a big glitch. Oh no! Anyways, um, so yeah, I, I just think it looks pretty cool. Here's another one that uh, probably uses the hand weapon a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. That is, uh, if I'm correct, that is Sludge right there. Very nice. And I just noticed that uh, one, I think his hand is backwards, and two, he's got two handles on his gun. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then there's Swoop. Oh, God, I fucking love Swoop. Oh. Some people want him in blue. Some people want him in red. I don't care what color. I just want Swoop. And I love the gold inside the head, too. I, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, personally, I, I just prefer these colors. But, I mean, if you want him in red, get him in red. I, I guess that's fine. You just got yourself a new subscriber. Yay! Uh, 34 people watching? Holy crap. Wow. Thank you, guys. Maybe it's because it's a Hascon reveal kind of day. I, I don't know. But I'm impressed by that. Anyways, uh, Swoop. Very cool looking. 
I, I love what I'm seeing for this. And I, I think it's pretty clever how they got the, the bird or pterodactyl legs on that. I, I think that's pretty nice. And then there is Slash, uh, again, the female Transformer. I wish she came with a weapon. Um, she doesn't. But I guess when you have the other ones in combined mode, you could just give her the two guns that are the same from uh, Slug and Sludge. So yeah, what's your favorite so far? I'm not sure what is my favorite. Probably Swoop, but it could be anything. And then going back to the Optimus Prime, it's like the cab mode seems so small. Uh, and yeah, you can see the Matrix inside that. But uh, really with the same old joke. Okay, funny. Huh. Uh, well, the picture by Hasbro have him in red, but the toy is in blue. So I think we're going to get him both blue and red. That'd be cool if uh, we got both versions of it. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I really like how this looks. I like the rounded off look of Ryan Pax and how in comparison to the actual Optimus Prime suit itself, it's completely different from it, and I really do like it. Yeah, it's got some kibble on the back there. It's not going to be a perfect little thing, but for what it's worth, I think it's done fine. It, it really is fine. Not the most perfect thing out there, but considering the size, considering the engineering that you have to go through, um, yeah, it, it's... It's really hard to do this, even for myself with cardboard transformers. Like, people uh, say, oh, I could design a better transformer. I work with cardboard, and it's not easy. Then again, that is cardboard. That's a whole other thing. But cardboard, you have some kind of drawbacks, and then you also have some advantages with that. So I guess it cancels each other out. I don't know. All I'm saying is I totally understand and they have some restrictions. If they want to go for a more complex one, they could, but this is also a kid's toy. And considering what's going on here, I, I think it's pretty complicated as it is. What happened to Optimus Prime? Uh, the Orion Pax figure uh, pops out of it, and it's its own little figure, and then you also have the suit that goes with it. Uh, one thing I find interesting about the Dinobot Combiner and this is just... Fiction-wise and speculation and the Beast could be Grimlock forcing the combination and Volcanicus is them all greeting to. I don't know about that. Uh, I dislike the Turquoise on Swoop. Well, it's not really... Oh, okay, on, on the arms. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Look at him. I know what you're thinking. How could you be this handsome? Uh, let's see. Optimus Prime looks pretty cool. I really do like that in the packaging. Very nice. I love that head mold. Like, this looks so much better than the picture on, on the, like, the, sorry, the official image doesn't do it justice. I would rather it had blue hands, though. But other than that, this thing looks beautiful beautiful oh my god and yeah it's got some trailer kibble on it that's just how it is because it's a it's a different transformation to it but it just looks so awesome and you get a matrix of leadership with it it's just oh my god i i love this thing it just looks amazing to me it is not perfect by any means look at the alt mode but, I mean, it's just, for the most part, I think it looks pretty... Oh, God, even in that lighting right there. Oh, I want that Optimus. I really do. I think it looks amazing. So, we got that. Uh, yes, I, I, I was really thinking about that. Uh, I actually almost forgot about it. Does anyone think that now we're going to get an Ultra Magnus out of it? Now, we know that Hot Rod is getting a repaint. We know that we're going to get the Optimus Primal. But we also know that next year we're going to have another lineup of figures. So do you think that 
for next year, we're going to get Star Saber and we're going to get Ultra Magnus. Uh, do you think that it's also possible to get a Nemesis Prime? That's one figure I want Hasbro to do. Because they rarely ever do Nemesis Prime, and I'm so tired of it. Come on, give us Nemesis Prime already. A lot of people want that. But no, it's got to be just Optimus Prime. They do so many Optimus Primes, so many repaints of the same Optimus Prime, and so rarely do they do Nemesis Prime. We got a little Legion, um, a little Legion Ultra Magnets from the Robots in Disguise Optimus Prime. Still waiting on Nemesis. Like holy crap. trying to scroll up because I, I missed a few comments. The only thing that seems off of me about this Prime is the odd choice in making his hands white. Well, they're gray, but yeah, that, that's the one thing that I find weird. Bumblebee, Ironhide, Ratchet, all of the Autobots in Decepticon's image. Again, you're talking about nothing relevant. Like, fuck. Dude. Come on. I already I already removed you once. I already put you in timeout once because you wouldn't shut up about just random things and you wouldn't stop tagging me in certain things that don't really hold any relevance. You're just wanting attention. Stop it. Stop. Anyways. Uh, let's see. Huh, my pussy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's take a look at the Play School Heroes Optimus Prime, and then I'm gonna go on a rant about something else. Uh, I kind of like the look of this Optimus Prime, but it looks different than the image on the packaging, which is weird. Um, pretty cool, you know. Nonetheless, I, I think that's uh, a pretty nice looking Optimus. I kind of like the head. I, I think it's. I think it's hilarious. Um, so yeah, if you have kids, there you go. Very nice. Nova Prime Cab and the combined them. Oh, oh! I want that. I want a Nova Prime out of the Optimus. Oh. Anyways, that would be so cool. So, what am I going to rant about? I'm going to rant about YouTube, and then I'm going to rant about something else uh, that I saw earlier today. You're welcome, Brian. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, YouTube. Let's talk about that. YouTube sucks right now. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to get comfortable. I'm sitting on my bed while I'm doing this video. So, what's going on is I have to take you back a while a while ago. I don't know if I'm going to upload the video where I'm ranting about this because I already made one. But I figured, okay, might as well talk about it here because I don't feel comfortable with making a video that's just about YouTube. So, I'm just going to cut into a rant because this is something that I wanted to talk about. I'm kind of done with the power of the Prime stuff. So if you guys want to move on from that, uh, if you guys want to stop watching, do you stop hearing my opinions on Hascon, uh, or you want to stick around and maybe I'll take questions about Hascon and how I feel about certain things, that's fine. Um, but I am going to go on a rant right now. So let's go back to a while ago, about a year ago, uh, when YouTube was going through the shit. They were demonetizing channels, they were removing channels, and they were doing this whole YouTube Heroes thing, which I don't feel is completely dead. I feel like YouTube's still going to push that thing, because no matter how many times we scream, we kick and scream, we don't want this, YouTube hasn't really admitted that, well, okay, we're not going to do this then. They, they never admit to just 
Oh, well, I shouldn't say that, but it, it feels ever so rare that they ever admit that, okay, we're, we're wrong, we're not going to do it. it. It's always to me, okay, we're wrong, but we're going to fix it, or we're going to change it and, and make it better. No, just don't, you know? But anyways, that's a whole nother rant, and probably doesn't hold any relevancy to anything. Going back to the YouTube thing, so we got demonetization. It was a big deal, and then after a while, it wasn't really a huge problem. Uh, people got around to it and whatnot. It, it was okay, you know. We, we constantly felt pushed aside, but it felt like finally we could just settle down. Then we cut to recently, and a lot of channels are getting hit by the stupid YouTube. Some ads are available, some ads are not. And it's limited or no ads, which is the lesser of the two evils. I'd rather have some ads than no ads. But that's still pushing the narrative that YouTube wants to technically censor us. And yes, I do consider it censoring. I'm not reading the chat right now. Uh, I do consider it censoring when we're being told we can't say this, we can't say that. And I know that we are on YouTube's platform, but it still feels like a form of censorship. And I don't feel like I'm wrong about that. No matter how many times people say, no, it's not censorship, Brian. To me, it is. I find it hilarious when I talk about this and some people have the excuse, well, I don't swear on my channel. Who gives a shit? Like, seriously, who gives a shit about that excuse? Because you are not every single channel. Just because you don't swear doesn't mean that everyone else doesn't. Just because you don't talk about controversial news doesn't mean that everyone else do uh, does it. Everyone is different. Everyone's going to, uh, you know, have their view on swearing or have their view on news and politics and what to say and what not to say, you know? So you can't really sit there and say, well, I don't do it, and, and think, how's that an excuse for everyone else, you know? Uh, but it just kind of sucks. And, and I think all this started because a uh, Coke ad got so upset because their advertisement was over uh, the Pepsi commercial that was uploaded. And it's the controversial one, too, or something like that. I, I don't even know what it's about. But here's my problem, is that I feel like YouTube is going after the content creators when they should really be thinking about, okay, what's the best course of action for the advertisers? Because I feel like with YouTube's advertising, it they should know that their ads are going to be placed over some controversial videos. And I feel like the advertisers should be smart enough to realize that the content creators are just making the content, are just making the page that the adver advertisements are placed over. They're not really, we're not really saying, oh, put up a Coke ad right, right next to my video of how I uh, punch a, Punch a dog. No, that's... If an advertisement or an advertiser thinks, okay, we're going to risk having our, our content, having our advertisements placed over a controversial video, maybe we should just not work with YouTube then. I know YouTube's going to get upset by that, but if an advertiser is so pissed off at the idea of that, then maybe it'd be best not to advertise on that site. Like, am I wrong about that? That's like, to me, that's like going, jumping into a prickle bush and then getting pissed off, but then jumping into the prickle bush again. 
I don't know. I, I don't know how well that analogy works, but it, it just feels to me that, okay, you have that risk. So why do it? You know the risk. So if you're pissed off by that, why go ahead and do it? You know? And, and then to YouTube, I'd say, okay, I, I understand controversial topics, but maybe if the advertisers don't like that kind of content then maybe it should be the choice of the advertisers of where their content is being placed on and that's probably what's going on with the limited or no ads but i feel like the limited or no ads is a problem because it's not really clarifying that does my videos have ads or does it have some ads how many ads are being placed what percentage of advertise, uh, advertisement am I being shown you know, or, or is being shown on my over my video and again it's being over uh, it's being advertised on the platform not so much because of my video my video makes the the page that it's going to be advertised on but the advertisers should be smart enough to realize that our content doesn't really say on behalf of YouTube or the advertisers. Have you ever went to a video and it's got an ad before it? And I'm not talking about the, the Loot Crate ad or something like that. I'm not sponsored by Loot Crate. Have you ever gone to a video and you saw a Coke advertisement and you connected the Coke advertisement to the video that you're watching like let's say for example oh my fidget spinner uh let's see how it is with a thousand degree uh fork or something like that let's see how it does do you think that when you watch that video coke is actually sponsoring the fidget spinner and whatever video no they're advertising on the platform itself. And yes, you make the content. Yes, you can argue with me on that. But again, my point is, is that it's not like the content we're producing says anything about the ad. The only time it does is when you just ironically, it's got a Coke, uh, Coke advertisement, and then you're talking about Coke in the video. And even then, we don't choose the ad, it just it just gets placed over the video. So I, I feel like one of two things need to happen. Either advertisers should really realize that you're advertising on the platform, not so much the videos, and if you're gonna get so butthurt over what your videos are gonna or what your advertisements are gonna be placed on as for certain videos, then maybe it's not a good idea to advertise on that platform, but you should be smart enough to realize that you're advertising on the platform and that the videos don't have any say in your ad, unless it just ironically does, okay? Like if I'm talking bad about Coke, well then yeah, but even then, that's not saying anything about the advertisement, that's just I'm talking about Coke, you know? It's just ironic. That's just how it happened. It, it's still being advertised from the platform. So either that or what needs to happen is YouTube needs to realize that maybe if there is a video with controversial topics, maybe we should ask the advertisers if that's okay if their video gets placed wherever. Because if the advertise, uh, sorry, advertiser is not happy with what their advertisement is being placed over, maybe you can do like a, a, a point thing or something like that to where, well, this one has news and, and controversial stuff, and Coke doesn't want that being placed over the, uh, the video, so maybe we'll just replace it for a different ad. You know? That's just, that's my say. That That's just how I feel about it. There's probably other ideas on, on other stuff, but yeah. 
there's probably other ideas on this, but it's just how I feel overall. And then let's also talk about another rant that I want to just quickly discuss. So I saw an article. I'm not going to say the group's name because I don't want to say the guy's name. I don't really want to point fingers at him. But I saw, and this is like, it feels sexist to me. It was an article about a daughter who didn't care about what toy she was playing with and how anyone else felt about it. And that's not the sexist part, okay? I need to clarify. That's not the sexist part. Um, it has nothing to do with the article itself. Uh, which, which, by the way, I don't give a shit if a little girl wants to play with a Bionicle or a Transformer or a G.I. Joe. I, I really don't care. That, that's whatever. Hell, you know, I, I felt like it was more okay if a girl was playing with a Transformer or something rather than a guy uh, playing with a, a Barbie or something. But even then, it's like, well, I don't have any say in that. You know, play with whatever the hell you want. And if you turn gay because of it, well, is there a problem with that? So uh, I'm not saying that every boy who plays with a Barbie or something like that is going to do that. Hell, I'm pretty sure at some point in time, me as a little kid with a little sister, I, I probably went into a room and saw there was a Barbie and, and just played with it a little bit. And that's it. You know, just an innocent little kid doing whatever. I, I'm pretty sure my sister had like a Barbie uh, thing that if you put water on it, it would change color and it didn't really work. But yeah, and then there was also that magic lamp thing that was a video game that I'm sure is somewhere in the house. I, I'm sure I have it still uh, because I, I just have certain stuff in storage. And um, and I ha I have the desk where all the video games and whatnot were, and so it, it just kind of came with everything. Um, I might have to use that as a prop if I find it. But anyways, didn't really matter. I still played the video game, uh, and my sister played the Bionicle Monog uh, two game more than me. I wasn't much of a gamer at that point. There was a point where I was really into video games, and then I kind of just went off of that. But my sister was still in the games, and she played Minog, which is the Madden Nui online game. And she loved that. In fact, pretty much every day, whenever she wants to go on the, the computer, she would play Minog. So... Really just, really just doesn't uh, matter to me. Well, this is technically about Transformers, because the article was originally talking about Transformers. So anyways. Fan page 101, how can anyone play Barbie? Fucking A, dude. Anyways. So... With that said, lost my train of, uh, train of thought. Um, someone saw the article, and a lot of people didn't give a shit about what the girl was playing with. If she wanted to play with Transformers, that was fine. One guy, ignorantly, commented on the article, saying she should not be allowed to play with transformers and he kept on going off saying guys should not play with girls toys or barbies and whatnot uh girls play with barbies guys play with power rangers boys play with power rangers whatever and a lot of people got upset by that of course because it was so stupid and ignorant but he just kept on saying that and how stuck in the times are you? Was that even a sentence? You must be stuck in the times if you're still thinking that. Like, seriously. 
because it really is not up to you what anyone plays with. If I wanted to play with a Transformer, I'll play with the Transformer. But if the next day I want to play with a My Little Pony, who the fuck cares? Who really, honestly, who the fuck cares? Why, why is it a problem now? Why, why shouldn't I be allowed to pick up a, a My Little Pony figure or something like that? Now, I don't do that anymore. I focus on Transformers, Halo, and whatnot. And, and to be honest, that was just, whenever I, I would, it was just, okay, this looks different. You know, I, I, I've been playing with the same Transformers and Bionicles for the past few months. I'm just going to pick up something different, you know, and and that was it. And then I move on. So I, I would go back to Bionicle Transformers and whatnot. No, because I'm going on a rant. So sorry about that. Sorry I wanted to go on a rant about something different. Fuck. <laughs> ah, you people. Anyways. Um... But yeah, it's just, I found that completely sexist for someone to say, you are not allowed to play with the Transformer or Barbendale. And it wasn't even like, I think that boys should just play with Transformers and girls should play with whatever. And, and you know, but that's just me or anything like that. You know, that I would have been fine with. I, that I wouldn't care. Wouldn't have been a big deal to me. Really wouldn't have mattered. This was a guy saying what boys and girls should and should not do. And pretty much trying to tell people what they should and should not do. And it's funny. Because one of the most popular people on that Facebook group that the guy decided to spit out bullshit is a woman who plays with Transformers. She's got third-party stuff and KOs probably and all this other stuff. She's got a whole bunch of Transformers. I know a bunch of girls who are into Transformers. Or women, because I'm not allowed to say girls anymore. Which is a whole nother thing that I'm not going to get into. But... I, I, I found that found that so disrespectful, so behind the times. Get with the modern age. And I'm not those people that go and SJW uh, S what? SJW the shit out of that or anything like that. But at the same time who who plays with whatever is not really your business. You don't really have a say in if I want to pick up a Barbie doll or a Transformer, you know? that That's my say, not yours. It, it was actually hilarious because people were constantly asking him, well, can I play with a RC figure? Uh, what does that say about uh, video games? And what does it say about this and that? I actually wrote a comment saying, uh, can girls play with my dick or is that just a boy's toy? <laughs> As a joke. Uh, the last night? I'm not going to answer that question. I'm pretty sure you asked that a couple of times. So, as I said before, if you're going to spam a question, I'm not going to answer it. Uh, so, yeah. That's just that's just my personal opinion. Wait, I got a question. Does this guy even know that there is a female Transformer like RC, Chromia, etc., etc.? So doesn't that make Transformers for boys and girls? Yeah. I, I understand the demographic of, okay, we have boys' toys, we have girls' toys. I, I, I understand that demographic. I understand that there's going to be a preference for uh, – Boys that they're going to go after Transformers. I understand that there's a preference. Girls are going to go after Barbie. I understand that preference. 
I understand why we still have that to this day. Um, and, and, you know, you, you can say that's sexist, but at the same time, that's kind of what made Transformers good. It, 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 you know, it's, it's kind of helped shape Transformers in a way. Um, Bumblebee, stop! Fuck! Anyways. But, I mean, even then, you don't have to be a boy to like Transformers, you know. And, and one more rant that I wanted to talk about. It's that stupid fucking... And this is just a random rant, pretty much. It's, it's the stupid fucking video that I saw by the BBC about digital blackface. Oh my god, it is the most retarded shit I've ever seen. I'm sorry to... Anyone who hates that word, but it is the stupidest thing I've ever seen because it's pretty much saying that if you post a GIF with a black person and you're white, you're committing digital blackface. First of all, I don't care who the hell is on the GIF. It's meant for a reaction. That's pretty much it. Yeah, BBC, look it up, uh, digital blackface. It is the stupidest thing. Um, the comparison the comparison she makes is completely just stupid. Uh, she's clearly triggered by all this. She says that, oh, you probably realize that uh, the majority of gifts feature a black person reacting. Uh, which, by the way, I find it funny that she says, we're not here to entertain but all the gifts that she show are from entertainers. So fantastic work. You know, great study on that. But she says that... Fuck, like... What was I saying? I, I don't even know at this point. I'm super tired. But she says... God, what, what did she say? Um... What was I even saying? I, I, I can't remember. I, I went off and then I I, I wanted to go back. Um, I really want to avoid hearing it. No, you should hear it because it's, it's fucking terrible. Okay. Um, oh, okay. The majority of, of people uh, that you see on GIFs are most likely black. And you probably noticed that. First of all, no. I never noticed that. Second, that's not the point. The, the point is just the reaction, not the fact that this person is black. It's not the fact that I want to be more sassy or, or edgy or not edgy, but uh, sexy or, or, um, or street or anything like that. No, it's a reaction. It's to show the emotion of what I'm having or it's just a funny thing, you know? And then... Oh my god, I'm, I'm sorry, there's just so many stupid things with this fucking video. Um, then I got sidetracked again. <laughs> um, so... I was going to make another point and then completely forgot about it. Okay. Oh, finally figured it out before I forget. So she says that the majority of them, you probably knows is black people. Where is that information fucking coming from? She doesn't prove that info. She just says the majority of them are, are black people. Or you probably knows that the majority of them are black people. No, I never did. And I even did uh, this thing called research. And I looked into it. And I looked at the gifts. And a lot of them are from different people. The majority of gifts that I see and the ones that I notice are coming off of Jontron or Ego Raptor. 
or people like that, you know, white people. And I'm not saying I'm noticing white people. I'm just saying those are the people I notice because I'm entertained by those people specifically. I love their reaction. And it's not like I'm not entertained by black people. I love Idris Elba and fucking anything that he's in. Oh, and what's hilarious is that people were complaining about black emojis. And now we never had them. Now all of a sudden, it's a problem. Like, what the fuck? I like how I haven't talked about robots in disguise whatsoever, and then all of a sudden people are talking about robots in disguise. Brian, if you think that's bad, there's a YouTube video that called King Kong Racist because it's comparing Kong with black people slash slaves. Really? Then who's the racist? <laughs> If people are going to make this comparison, like, honestly, if people are going to make this type of comparison, do you think that they're really the ones that are racist? Because they're the one who's really pointing this out, you know? They're the ones who think this. Oh, I find it hilarious. If you look up the Facebook video of it, most of the comments, most of the response uh, feature... Uh, at least for gifts, feature a, a black person in it. African American, I'm sorry. Um, but most of them feature that, which I feel is going to be a problem because, not because it's using African American people, but because now BBC's like, well, you're proving us right now. So, you know. But I, I also find the irony and the satire in that. So I, I find that hilarious. But. Who actually cares about little stupid pictures? Apparently this bitch. Emojis are the most fucking trivial thing. And then, oh, I love the fact that at the end of the video, she's saying, now you don't have to be black to use these emojis and gifts. But you have to wonder, why did you use that emoji? Why did you use that gift? Because it was a funny fucking reaction, first off. Or just a, a reaction in general to what's going on. Doesn't have anything to do with skin color. And second, throughout the whole video, you are pretty much showing that white people should not be able to show off these gifts. So you are pretty much saying that yes, but you're trying to kind of go into your safe bubble and say, no, you don't have to be white to, uh, or you don't have to be black to really post these gifts. No, you fucking are. So yeah, just wanted to talk about that. Please just continue with the stream. I am continuing with the stream. What do you think I'm doing? Just because I, I'm not talking about Hascon doesn't mean I'm not talking about the stream. Last time I checked, it was my stream. Let's see what's on CBTron. Said I was going to go off on a rant, so whatever. Oh! Hascon pretty much proves that all the Power of the Primes leaks, as I said before, are real. So, yay for that. So, we are going to get the Terracons. Uh, I find it fine that they did a little preview of Ripper Snapper. And yet, they haven't revealed them yet. But I have a feeling that at some point, they're going to reveal uh, at least him. If he seriously thinks that, then he thinks apes are just racist in general. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. I haven't watched the actual video. I'm, I'm not going to really say that. That was a joke. That was, it was satire. 
Nah, there's not much going on on this. So, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have had the Optimus Prime show up while I was talking about that, because now I feel like... I find it funny that I'm going on a rant about black people, and there's just a picture of Optimus Prime. No, I, I need to clarify. The, the Optimus Prime that you just saw has nothing to do with the rant. That was just me going off topic. I, I just want to clarify just in case someone's going to make that connection. No, it's just... That's why I had open. It's not like that was actually advertised or part of that or there's any connection with that it has nothing to do with that you suck blah someone's trying are you trying to be a little troll there hello troll are you feeling powerless because no one gives a shit Oh, little troll, little baby was going to cry. Oh, baby. Oh, baby's going to cry. Oh, baby apparently likes DIY videos and, and other stuff. Oh, weird food combinations. Oh, that's cool, right? Yay. Oh, baby. Oh, baby's going to cry. Let me, let me eat your tears. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Mmm, yay. Little baby. Little baby needs some sleep. <laughs> All right. BuzzFeed! Haji Rekha! <laughs> T-Fan page 101. More like... Bitch. We came to see you talk about the Hascon reveals, not listen to our... Yeah, well, I already did that. I already talked about the Hascon stuff. <laughs> I, I like how I got the thumbs up. <laughs> I, that's, that's awesome. Anyways. Anyways. Um, if you don't like the fact that I wanted to talk about something else, well, then boo-hoo. You can go cry about it. I really don't care. Because, again, this is my live stream. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. All right? The stream has ascended to me drum. Meme drum. Meme, meme, meme dorm. All right. You want, you want me to talk about Hascon reveals? Okay. Let's talk about Hascon reveals. Okay? Here we go. Uh, Assassin's Creed sucks. It's a boring-ass movie. That was my that was my discussion on Hascon. <laughs> Let's see. Why you hate G1? I never said I hated G1. There. Okay. There you go. Hascon Transformers Reveals plus Unrelated Rants. That's what the title is currently. So, there you go. Not to be confused. Oh, okay. He hates G1. Okay. I can give a lot of reasons why G1 sucks. If you don't like G1, that's fine. Yeah, that, that's your opinion. Okay, that's cool. Uh, honestly, I saw one person make a post about how they just didn't like G1. And I saw so many people get upset by it. Oh, my God. It was hilarious to watch. Yay! I went to Chaos's uh, channel, and on the side, I'm seeing related videos. And it's Diamond Bolt. Sean TF 1967, Swagwave SM, Jabba the Hong, Awesomeness 10, and then T Fan Page 11. <laughs> oh, we got a dislike. <laughs> You're not allowed to have an opinion, girl. 
Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else to talk about. Okay, questions about Hascon. Let's go. Let's go. Let's talk about Hascon. Let's talk about reveals. Let's go. Let's do this fucking shit. A laughing face is not a question. I'm always a fan of your work. Thank you. Bumblebee Flamestar dislikes this. No opinions. Only souls. I don't know what I just said. And hey, when that guy said you suck, that is your opinion. And you're also not wrong. You have no questions. My city is still on wave, wave one of the last night. I just want Squeaks and Cogman. We've had Squeaks and Cogman for a while. Which figure would you suck off if you had the opportunity? Uh, probably Bisque, because it'd be at least interesting. Uh, am I asking a Hascon question? You can ask whatever at this point. Uh, all of you can go to Hascon for free because it is up my ass. Yay! Let's go to up his ass! Uh, so did... How was Has on and what happened to Buck? I don't understand a thing of what the first part is. What happened to Bakkan? Uh, Bakkan kind of died out. It wasn't years ago. It was last year, I think. Yeah, it was last year when BotCon died out. Because Hasbro thought, well, we could probably do different things at the same time. Um, which I understand that. I, I really do under uh, I really do get that. Um, because Hasbro is not just Transformers, it's multiple things. So when you have a company that big and you're just doing a convention for something specifically, that's gonna cost a lot of money to do. Why not just do multiple uh, things? And someone's going to call me. Uh, one message. Holy shit. Channel 38 has 10 Rick and Morty uh, episodes in a row on right now. I just got a text for that. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of why Bakon died out, at least to me. And, and also... I don't think people were really getting into it anymore. Because you had like TF Con and all this sort of stuff, and there was no real guarantee that BotCon was going to reveal something really that good. So people just kind of got less and less interested in the whole thing. Uh, so, you know, some, t some years you would get these exciting stuff, uh, stuff, exciting stuff being revealed and shown. And then some years it's like, well, that's not much. I could have gone to TFCon, you know? Say hi for me. Hi for me. You, you have to give me $100 now. I meant to say, how was Hascon? I, I didn't actually go to Hascon. I'm just looking at the reveals and what's been going on. What is your favorite Transformer of all time? Shockwave. Uh, let's see. So I do get why Hascon exists. I, I know people had a problem with it. I was kind of like, well, I mean, I get it. Uh, but the one thing I really do miss is the exclusives. Now, I know we still have the RC exclusive. Um, and then that weird Optimus Prime thing. But I really missed when we had a ton of excuses. Or excuses. Exclusives is what I meant to say. Like, um, oh, God. Uh, the Iron Fist was pretty cool. Uh, there was, uh, it's weird. I, I can picture the exclusives in my head. I just forgot the names. Uh, Bow Trap. There was that Rat Trap repaint. The Megatron from the the Takara breakdown and multiple other ones. You don't have to constantly say I agree with you, by the way. Thank you, Brian. Shockwave is love. Shockwave is life. 
Uh, let's see. You know, ever since Brian subscribed to me, I've actually been trying to improve my content and actually helped my channel grow. Aw. Why is John Cena in the Bumblebee spinoff? I don't know. I really don't know. It's it's the weirdest thing for me. I I just every time I hear that, I'm thinking, is that a fucking joke? It's like the same thing when and not to really go into politics, but when Donald Trump said, "Okay, I'm gonna run for president," I'm like, yeah, what? You hate yourself for again uh, not getting prime figures. Uh, see if there's like conventions or something. You, you'll you'll like those. You're always funny, smart, and cool. Yay! John Cena is Sam Witwicky when he went through a time machine. No, John Cena is the next Doctor Who. Although that'd be much more entertaining than him in a Transformers film. Although this Transformers film is directed by Travis Knight, which fucking fantastic director. Which Transformer would you fuck furiously? Well, six shot. Uh, it says it's rumored John Cena will voice Bumblebee. No. If Bumblebee doesn't get into a wrestling match for the championship belt in the movie, I will demand a refund from Paramount themselves. No, I'm not reacting to it. I think he asked that at the beginning of the video. I, I would look back, but all I'm seeing is, is vaping is gay. So... Uh, trying to think of, like, my content and what to announce for it. Okay, so the Aerial Bot com uh, Canadian Reviewer stuff, it has me in it. Fuck. Okay. What, the Transformers Prime Tribute zombie thing? Or Bumblebee X Toy Chica. Uh, anyways. So, yeah, Canadian Reviewer, it's going to start with the uh, Alpha Bravo for the Aerial Bots. Uh, even though he's not an Aerial Bot, technically, which is going to be fun. Uh, and then it's going to lead to Silverbolt, with all the other ones in between, of course, that I have, uh, not, not including Powerglide, and then it's going to conclude with Silverbolt, or Silverbolt, uh, Superion, and then after that we're going to try and get in the anniversary video. Mr. My name is Mr. Wilson now, I'm here to say, I'm going to smack your ass in a major way. What are you doing in my basement? Gah! Gah! Okay. Hey, Brian, I'm just messing around. I actually think you are one of the best Transformers channels. That's fine. You know what, to be honest, I, I was just I was messing around, too. But thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Bumble. Oh no. Alright, but I'm gonna have to watch it with no sound. Wow. 
that didn't involve me at all. So you tried to bait me into watching that. You can go now. You, you can honestly, Bumblebee, you can go. Fuck off. You've pissed me off too many times. Fuck off. Megatronics, Brian. <laughs> Uh, Brian, what do you think of the Raging Nation? Cool. I've met him a couple of times. This is watching hentai. Uh -huh. Do you think we'll get an R&D Combined Force Thundercracker? I'm not sure. Why was there a second Magnus in the background of Misfortune Episode 4? Okay. It's not a second Ultra Magnus. He's got other things in his display. He, he, if you look in the background, he's got the Rescue Bots Ultra Magnus. He's got the uh, Cyberverse Ultra Magnus. It's different, like, it's like models of himself because he's so arrogant. It, it's pretty much to show that this is his room, you know? Oh, fuck, Master Builder. Oh, I'm not even going to repeat that. So Magnus is an egocentric freak. Well, pretty much said in the third episode. Statue of himself to jack off. Well, I mean, yeah. Teen Titans go ran. Uh, stupid fucking dumb. I get that they want to make their own content, and they they said, "Well, you know what? We're gonna make our own, and even if you don't like it, you know, this is the content that we want to produce, which is, you know, something that I can get behind. But at the same time, if the fans are not liking the show, then maybe it's not the best thing to do at that point." Guy, what are you, guy? Yeah. I haven't watched much of the Ben 10 reboot to really get pissed off by it. Oh, fuck. I, I love the original Teen Titans. I would watch that like crazy. Your friends came over. Howdy. When there's no way you know who to call. Ding dings! What do you call a retarded Jew? I don't know, Master Builder. What do you call a retarded Jew? Where did you get the idea of Misfortune Barricade's personality? Lord Tourette's from Dick Figures. Don't watch Ben 10 reboot. I, I, I don't plan on it. Rant about me. Oh, here comes Lenny liking everything. But the truth of the matter is, you think Lenny likes everything. But actually, Pompey killed a bunch of people. Damn, God, my mouth. Excited for the live Teen Titans show. Yay! I don't even know if they're going to do that at this point. I, I constantly hear, oh, we're going to do it, and we're canceled. And we're canceled. Yeah, we're canceled. Auschwitzic. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Okay. Uh, Dr. Lo Doctor Lockdown sells medicine in his garage. I don't think Dr. Lockdown is really a doctor. I want to watch that movie, Earth to Echo. Are you excited for Avengers Infinity War? <laughs> What do you think of the Titans Returns line so far? I actually like Titans Returns. Um, I like the playability and function of it. And here's the thing. Okay. 
cool toys you know whatever if it's a basic toy that does its job okay fine but i've noticed that a lot of toys have been getting pretty boring you got the one step changers that don't do much uh you got the three step changers you got the uh the minicon ones that oh you plug it on and it does something to the alt mode and that's pretty much it um but there's there's just a lot of boring ass transformers toys and <laughs> and when it comes to titans returns you have the headmaster gimmick you have for the voyagers you have a couple of different modes for the leaders you also had base mode or just multiple modes and then of course you would have the titan class figures and you know they're they're huge and then you also have the little drivable vehicle things that even have the, their own transformation. And then those headmasters can be installed in the little cockpits and whatnot. And then you can combine the cities. And then you can do whatever you want with the little headmaster guys. You can swap them out. You can do so much with this lineup. Which is great for customization too because you can change out the head so easily now. I love the Titan return gimmick. I, I think it's a very good gimmick. When does the Shockwave toy come out? I want there, I so badly want there to be a Voyager class Shockwave in Power of the Primes. So it could be a fucking combiner. I don't watch Gundam. Which new Decepticon from TF5 is your favorite? Nitro. Because he actually fucking stands out. <laughs> you watch Diamond Bolt sometimes. I'm actually in contact with Comden Cam about something. Hmm. Also, I should point this out. If you guys like Dr. Lockdown, stay tuned to his channel. Because you'll be seeing me on his channel. It will be the Cards Against Cybertronian Knee, whatever the name is. And I'm on the first episode. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, 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 would like a Power of the Primes Galvatron? We already have that. It's, co it's called the, the Titans Returns Galvatron. <laughs> you eat. You eat. That was a stage recording session. Yes, you were. Mm. Hey, hey, Sky Josh. Oh, stop it, Ron. Oh. Are you going to see Star Wars Episode 8? Yes. I don't give a shit who, who the hell tells me. Oh, episode 7 sucks because it's a bad movie. And it's just... I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I never watched Star Wars Episode 4 in the theater, okay? So, yeah, it's a lot like Star Wars Episode 4. But I've never seen that in the fucking theater. So this was my version of watching Star Wars Episode 4 in theaters. Who cares about spoilers at this point? Except for Episode 8. Transformers Misfortune Bumblebee looks like Bumblebee from Fruby and Friends. I don't know what that is. How much longer for the stream? Honestly, not that much longer. Um... I fucking hate Bay for killing the sound wave, blah, 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 all these characters. Yeah, I, I'm i not a fan of Michael Bay anymore at this point, especially after the last movie. No. Praise Transformers Prime. I praise Transformers Prime for one reason. One major reason. Other than the other major reasons. But now, after the last night, one major reason. Because they actually fucking bothered... To explain the whole Unicron Primus thing. Instead, the Michael Bay Transformers is like, Oh yeah, Earth is Unicron. Uh, Primus is Cybertron. Moving on. 
It's like, fuck, really? I just thought that was the most bullshit. And I hate that because, oh, that means we're never going to see Unicron in, in the movies, right? Like, they're not going to destroy Earth just to have Unicron down the line unless they have time travel. But it just pisses me off. It really does. You need a bigger door. I can make a Transformers Misfortune song called I Can Fix You. <sighs> Spoiler alert, Unicron is actually swerved. <gasps> Who told you? How did you know? Onslaught was a complete and utter waste. Yep. AT fan page one one. I you just repeated yourself, so I'm gonna ignore that. Who the fuck disliked the live stream? Uh the chick that has a problem with the uh, gifts. No, you're not sorry. You keep saying you're sorry because you you don't want to piss me off. But you keep doing shit that pisses me off. And you I'm sure you know you're doing this. And you're doing it for attention. So don't come saying sorry if you're not gonna mean it. Also, Bumblebee is a is a is a transformer. Did you know that? You know they're going to make Mobile or Moby Bruticus totally uh, separate from Onslaught the same way they did with Devastator and the Constructicons. Yeah, pretty much. I'm at 7K. Yeah, 7,000 subscribers. I need to think. Thank you for 7,000 subscribers. If you want to also help me get to 7,001 subscribers, comment now. Do you think we could see Starscream's ghost in TF6? I, I don't know if they're going to do that. You should stop Bumblebee before I eat your ass violently. See, now, you make that sound like a threat, but it... it, it but, it's, put it in my ass. Oh, did he call Jobby the Hong? Oh, no! I forgot the butter. I have been listening to the song. Okay, this is a random thing, and I'm probably going to hang up for the night. I've been listening to the song by the band, I think it's Siamese. I think that's how you spell it. It's called The Wolf. Watch the official music video, because it's fucking amazing. I, I hate the fact that Onslaught just was wasted potential. When I heard that Onslaught was in the movie, I was like, oh, finally. Because this is the character that I wanted to be in the movies. And I was like, okay, they're not going to do much, but they're probably going to do something at least. Nitro Zeus and Onslaught should swap places, if I'm being honest. I, I like Nitro Zeus, but everything that was to his character was before Onslaught's death. So if they killed Nitro Zeus instead of Onslaught at that point, it would have made no difference. But if they continued with Onslaught and actually made him, oh, I don't know, a fucking character? Ooh, that would be nice. But no, they didn't want to do that. They just decided, hey, Onslaught, you gotta be nothing. And that is pretty much it. And that is how you swivel my turbo. I've been about to find a new brand of the Dairy Queen. Sunny skies and lots of rain clones all at the Home Depot. You're going to see Master Chief find a way in my tomato. Chocolate rain, everybody like 
everybody finds it. Ellie's minimal. Oh, man. Hey. Hey. Ron into the news. Wow, it says Rick and Morty is on right now, but it's Bob's Burgers. Also, it's a commercial, so I didn't clue into that. Okay, now it makes sense. It's always going to be my favorite in the Bayverse, TF3. Okay. TF3 is probably the best as a movie. It's not necessarily my favorite because I get bored from it sometimes. I had a whole argument with someone. Oh, you don't know what a movie is because uh, TF3 is the best one. No, it's, it, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I got bored in parts of it. Like, take, for example, when they're going up in the, the city and the whole driller thing's going in and attacking them, it's like, I know what's going to happen because it's in the trailer. So what am I getting shocked about? Nothing. You know? Um... I, I feel like that scene would have been better if they didn't show the tower collapsing in the commercials. Because we all know. Um, but yeah, it's not like that movie is the worst one. Definitely, out of all of them, if it's not the best, it's the second best in my opinion. Uh, if you ask me exactly what order the films go by, I think it's first movie, mainly because it's the first. Dark of the Moon, and then Age of Extinction, Revenge of the Fallen, and then Fuck Off. <laughs> I don't even want to say the actual title. I just call it Fuck Off. And, and to be honest, I was kind of teetering between, okay, is TF2 the worst one or TF5 the worst one? I was kind of like, okay, what's going to what's gonna change? What, what's going to make me think, okay, this is worse than that. And this is what brought me to that conclusion. Is TF2 was bad, but at least it was entertaining. At least I was somewhat entertained by what was going on. It might have been shit, but at least something was going on. With TF5, there was some things that could have been interesting, but they completely drop. Or that was the movie that I actually hated stuff in it. So, Transformers, fuck off. Coming soon. Yeah, it's called Transformers Misfortune. Da, 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 da. So, anyways, uh, does anyone know about the Galvatron, Megatron thing? I just think Megatron took his name back. I don't think there's much to look into it. It makes sense when you think of it. Because, I mean, just think of it. Galvatron is his human-given name. And that form was given to him by the humans. So why would he want to keep that? He would want to change over. Back to Megatron. Yes, there is, there's that scene where he says, I am Galvatron. But maybe they hadn't made the choice to change back to Megatron. Um, or something like that. I, I'm not sure. Fuck sexual jokes in the movies. My favorite joke is actually from Transformers 5, oddly enough. And that was the one where people say, I didn't even laugh in that one. Um... It's the one where it's like, don't call me chief, call me sheriff. Oh, why would I do that? I don't know. It sounds vaguely racist. And the reason why I love that joke is it feels like it's a fucking middle finger to Michael Bay and the racist jokes that he puts in in his movies. It's like, no, you know what? You don't get to say that. What do you guys think of movie Devastator? Down yeah, below! Direct the hands of That's my thoughts. The Shanghai scene was cool? Yes, I actually really did like that. Um, didn't like the desert battle. I mean, in that scene, I was kind of like, wow, this is being 
drawn out. I guess that's something I like about the last night, though, is that the final battle wasn't as drawn out because at least different things were happening. Like, the most drawn out part was uh, the Ospreys flying in. But after that, it's like, oh, I know what's going to happen. You're, you guys are all going to shoot around, and it's going to be for, oh, we're already done with that? Okay, cool. We're leaving? Okay. Oh, the Transformers are coming in. It's just going to be sh shooting around. Oh, okay. It's relatively quick. It, it's funny. The best part of the, the whole movie is the last five minutes. Again, I don't absolutely hate the film overall. But God, is there a lot that pisses me off about that movie. Roadbuster and Topspin are still alive unless you consider Volleybot as Topspin. No, it, it is Topspin, though. Even though it's credited as Volleybot, it was confirmed to be Topspin, just grown out of beard, which I think is fucking stupid. But whatever. At least Topspin's still alive. And someone did say that Roadbuster is still alive. I have not seen him whatsoever in that scene, so I don't know where people are talking about that. Hey, Bumblebee, did you apologize for the clickbait earlier? Just wondering, because I haven't heard anything about that. I consider volleyball in the last night to be twin twist. Ah, that's a good idea, actually. Yes, I don't remember you doing that. I'm still pissed on Quintessa looks hot, and yet the RCs are cripples. Um, let's talk about Quintessa for a second. Actually, not so much Quintessa, but the scenes where Quinte Quintessa is in. The whole fucking film has no problem focusing on Kate or the humans or whatever the hell's going on with them. As soon as it's a scene where it's got Optimus Prime talking to Quintessa or Megatron talking to Quintessa or we need to hear some exposition from the actual fucking robots, it cuts away so fast. I swear to God. I, I actually swear to God. I forgot partway through the movie certain things were in this movie. That has not actually happened in a movie. I don't know if it's because of my autism or something like that, but usually I remember, okay, that happened, that happened, and, you know, even when they bring it back, like, halfway through the movie, I'm like, yeah, that happened. This was the movie where it was like, oh, right, that. Huh. God, the movie sucks. The movie just sucks. <laughs> Oh, anyone catch that Barricade had a different voice halfway through the film? Yeah. Compare the scene where Barricade is talking to Megatron in that dark whatever, and he's talking about the TRF, and compare that to Stonehenge and Barricade's talking in that. Barricade went from a more civil, more understood voice to I I swear, look it up. He sounds totally different. Fuck, I hate that movie. It's edited poorly. And when people say, oh, I like it, I'm like, cool, you like it. But it's a shitty movie. I, I don't want to sound like a dick, but you should probably acknowledge that it is a shitty movie. 
with something this bad, yeah. I'm not saying don't force an opinion on people, but, I mean, come on. Yeah, same voice actor, but he does something completely different partway through. Cogman I like. Cogman I, I really enjoyed, actually. I just wish that he didn't swear as much, though. But, hey, out of every other character that's going to have an issue, a problem, and it's going to be an annoyance, Cogman was the most... He, he was the better of them. Uh, also didn't hate Hot Rod. I, when I heard about Hot Rod, I was like, holy fuck, Michael Bay, we're doing this again? You really don't know how to make a movie, right? Because every time someone complains about half the shit you're doing, you're like, I'm going to make excuses as to why this one's going to be better. And then you do the same exact shit over and over again. But Hot Rod wasn't too bad. A rector needs to appear. Why Bumblebee sounds like spring? I don't know what you're talking about anymore. I'm I, I'm actually at this point I'm ignoring your comments because you keep tagging me on really unimportant stuff. Oh, you repeated yourself again. Yep, I'm completely ignoring you now. I really don't care what you have to say anymore because I every time I just tell you something, you completely throw it out the window because you want attention. So, fuck you. I don't want to sound disrespectful or anything like that, but Jesus Christ, man, gave you so many chances. Little lady, no. Hot Rod wasn't that bad, in my opinion. Yeah, it's the same. Little lady, no. That's my hot rod impersonation. <laughs> hot rod wasn't a bad character, but why with the accent? Ah, oh, he hates the accent. He wishes we he could get rid of it. Even though he kind of does. But then he gets it back. What the root? Rack pussy. <laughs> What if the wreckers, because they wreck pussy, that was the origin. And then Optimus was like, oh, the wreckers, you must wreck stuff. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. Stop it then. I wish he had the voice of Nolan North and sound like Tip Prime Star Screen or Smoke Screen. Was that the voice Smoke Screen? Was Nolan North? Funny how he goes from Steel Jaw to or Smoke Screen to Steel Jaw then. This planet is hell. <clears throat> This planet is hell. What happened? Trump. Brian, Steve Jablonski did say that there was more than 40 minutes was cut from the film. Yeah, I, I understand that. Um, I, I heard about that. Which, by the way, I don't care about Steve Jablonski's, uh, whatever his name is, the score for TF5. In every movie, I'm like, oh, at least his score was good. In this one, it was like, I'm sorry. I could not go through it with that. Uh, did I finish the custom weapon for Hot Rod? Yes, I did. I've not watched too much of a reg uh, regular show. I did see the Touch episode, though. Berserker was a waste. Yeah, how the fuck does he get a deluxe figure? Like, seriously, how the hell does he get a deluxe figure? He gets a one-step changer, too. And he gets a Cyberverse. He gets a repaint of uh, Breakdown. 
How the hell does he get all these toys? Onslaught gets none. Mohawk gets none. Dreadbot gets none. Dreadbot. Does that, does, like, seriously, does anyone actually care about Dreadbot at all? Like, in, in any way, does anyone care about Dreadbot? I blame the lack of communication between Paramount and Hasbro, probably. Thoughts on Spider-Man Homecoming, if you watched it? I loved that movie. I actually really did. I thought it was different. I thought it was interesting. You know. It, it wasn't like, oh, this is going to be the best, or it's going to top any of the original Spider-Man movies. No, it's just a, it's just a fucking Spider-Man movie, you know? That's all it needed to be. Oh, hula bot. Dread boy. Left foot soup. No. Uh, who do you want to see in the next Transformers movie six or seven? Uh, an actual fucking Bruticus to do something. Um. Windblade, and that's pretty much it. I want, I want to see a female Transformer. I'm so fucking tired of all these guy Transformers. Hasbro is like, hey, Paramount, we need to get started with the toys. Can you tell us what characters are going to be in the movie? Maybe even some of the designs or to go off of? Oh, yeah, and then no. Mr. Transformer 96 already did a custom, which he put the shockwave head on Nitro, and it looks cool. Yeah, I did see that. We were supposed to get RC back. That's news to me. I've never heard of that. Windblade and Bayverse, overly sexualized. Well, is she not already... I mean, look at the Generations one. It's thick. I was expecting a giant cord. I want my Grimlock now. I like Grimlock. I like my already Grimlock. It's cool. Uh, who did he say he was going to ignore? Oh, uh, Bumblebee. And then I didn't catch that. It, the last comment I read was his. Ah, some bitch. I think I'm gonna hang up for the day uh, pretty soon. I created a custom Voyager Optimus Prime. It sucks. No, it doesn't. I like all customs. Do you like Transformers Animated? If you do, what is your favorite uh, episode? Uh, I don't really have a favorite episode, but I did rewatch all the uh, episodes recently. Yeah, I, I do like it. I actually like it more so after rewatching it because now all the references I completely missed, I'm finally understanding. Uh, why do you think Hasbro goes off of concept art so much of the time? Because there's not much time between uh, when the concept art is done and then the final one comes out. And in between that, they also have to make the toy at the same time. That's why the leader class Optimus Prime that we got for Age of Extinction looks so different from the Voyager class one. If you notice, there's some different elements going into it. You also notice that some of the uh, CGI art that was done for promotion on the movie is different than what you actually see on the movie for Age of Extinction, like Grimlock and Optimus Prime and whatnot. Not everything, but there were certain uh, art designs that were different. <clears throat> uh, do you like Gorilla character Jet Jaguar? What? I don't know what that is. Want to see Tarn in the movies and TV shows? Oh, that'd be cool if we could get Tarn in the Robots in Disguise. Although, isn't that Megatronus? Pretty much. I feel like Megatronus' design, excuse me, is pretty much Tarn. Oh. 
Harambe Prime and Power of the Primes, yes. Tarn is too hardcore. Yeah, probably. But you can't say you don't want Tarn in the in the Prime. I know I do. Megatronus is the following. Confirm. The whole did needs to appear outside of the comics. Out of the three Decepticons that we haven't got in toy in the last night, which one would you cho uh, choose to have a toy and why? Only choose one. Well, it would be the Onslaught because I like Onslaught in general. And that's it. Dreadbot, I don't give a shit about. Mohawk is interesting, but I'm seeing so many customs that it's like so easy to reproduce him. I, I mean, granted, Onslaught is like long haul at the same time, but I feel like you. you I, I just want that toy. Uh, who would you like to see in leader class in Power of the Primes? As I said before, I think Victory Saber or. or whatever Star Saber is going to be in the lineup. Um, I mean, they kind of announced it at this point. Uh, I want a Decepticon, but I'm not sure what kind of Decepticon, because it seems like we're getting a lot of Autobots. Um, Ultra Magnus I would like to see, uh, repaint from the Optimus Prime. Um, maybe Tarn, but I, I'm trying to think of the gimmick that they're going for with the smaller character inside of it. Uh, maybe Nemesis Prime, you know. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the electric chair one. They're better than the new Combiner Force ones. Ha <laughs> ha What is the best Optimus Prime figure you own, in your own opinion? Well, it would have to be the Masterpiece, but I don't have that. Uh, as far as ones in my collection, I can't really say. I, I don't really know. But Paramount did promise Optimus Origins the Dinobots having more screen time. Oh, they promised a lot and didn't deliver. More Dinobots! No. Uh, Beast Wars, Megatron, and the Thunderwing leaders. Oh, yes! Thunderwing would be cool. I would be fine with a, a Voyager class Megatron and then have that. Oh, a Voyager class Megatron with all these combiner char uh, characters from Beast Wars. I miss Human Alliance. Yeah, that was a cool line. I want Nova Prime. Yes. Uh, so anyways, I think, uh, with that said, I think we're gonna hang up for the day. Beast Wars Megatron from Grimlock. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I, I could see that. That was going to happen at a point, so, yeah, they could do that. Um, hopefully they would remold it, though. Who would win Optimus Prime or King Kong? Probably King Kong by this point. Uh, Cogman would work so fucking well as a human alliance. Oh, yes. Uh, Beast Wars, Megatron. Or they could just remold the Voyager Scorn. Yeah, true. Transmetal Megatron. Yeah. Well, she did turn human. That would be a change. Yeah. Anyways, okay. I'm done reading the chat. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been something. Uh, I know it's been a little bit ranty. I know I just went off on some things, but hey, that's just how it is when some people just don't know how to behave, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, uh, not to point names. Maybe. <laughs> Thundercracker and Skywarp never got the spotlight. Cursing Michael Bay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyways. So with that said, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun do -dads. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. I don't know if I'm going to do another one of these tomorrow because HasCon is still going on. But if there is a lot more reveals tomorrow, maybe. But if it's just like... Uh, if it's just like... Uh, I don't know, comic stuff, I'm not going to really talk about that. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time.